Mustangs, a whole herd of them. All right, 1965 was the first year for the Mustang. Over 600,000 were made, but keep in mind the vast majority, about 502,000 were notchbacks. And then, of course, the convertible followed up in popularity with about 102,000. Well, guess what? The 2 plus 2 Fastback didn't even arrive until halfway through the 1965 model year, arriving in September of 64. Now, why do they call this the 2 plus 2? Well, the roof on this, we can see, has a gentle slope to the greenhouse, and the rear seat is pinched to a place where only two people can sit in the back. So, unlike the coupe or the convertible, which can sit three across, this actually has a smaller back seat. So, with the two bucket seats, it's a 2 plus 2. And beyond that, the term 2 plus 2 was being used by Ferrari in the late 50s, early 60s. It was a kind of a sexy term, and Pontiac even used it before. Uh, Ford did, so the 2 plus 2 was a sexy bit of nomenclature. Now we can learn which engine this car was built with by going to the VIN. It's stamped in here on the inner fender. I see the letter A, which tells us 289 four barrel, 225 horsepower. But what really makes this one special is the factory four-speed transmission. Most of these had three-speed sticks or automatics. But again, of the three body styles offered in 65 on Mustang, the coupe, the convertible, and the fastback, only 77,000 of the 620,000 Mustangs built in to life were fastbacks like this one here. Let's take a closer look. Inside the 2 plus 2's fastback greenhouse, we see these things right here. You might wonder what they are. Well, these basically are the other side of the vent that you see on the B pillar. You might wonder, does that thing really work? Yeah, it does. There's a little slider right here. You move it like that, it actually allows air to vent out to the outside airflow from the cabins. Keep in mind that glass window right there, if you're sitting in the back seat, bakes down on your back, not so good. But again, the B-pillar vents on Mustangs absolutely are functional. Another thing that's cool about this 2 plus 2, it is, like I say, it's a factory four speed by looking at the door tag. Uh, under the transmission area, we want to see the number five stamped in. I peeked, it is there. So this is a factory four speed A code 289. All right, well, a couple things here. Uh, as an A-code, this would have the Autolite four barrel. Somebody along the way has put a two barrel on this one, but it is correct. Those yellow valve covers are something you would have seen on a 65 engine. Keep in mind, Ford painted all of their V8s black in 65, but had a contrasting color on the valve covers. Uh, for 1966, all Mustang engines got painted blue. But again, uh, this has been engine swapped, I think. But uh, pretty cool piece, small block, four speed, What's, what's to not like? Now this Mustang is pretty well hashed, but where there's a will, there's a way, and virtually anything you might need to restore this car is available. Now back when these cars were new, this 2 plus 2 sold for about $2,900, but Ford research shows that the average Mustang buyer bought $400 worth of optional equipment and put them on their Mustang. So Ford really had their strategy worked out. Now you've got about $30,000 worth of restoration ahead of you, but that said, a clean A-code four-speed Mustang at auction 45 to 50,000 bucks. So it could be done. It could come out ahead. Hmm, I think I see something old over here. Let's check this out. 